Kansas-Nebraska Act. The Kansas-Nebraska Act was an act brought up by a guy named Stephen Douglas. This act divided Nebraska territory into Nebraska in the north and Kansas in the south. It established popular sovereignty in each territory, and it resulted in a bitter debate in Congress and a bloody fight in Kansas. Kansas was the Boston of the Civil War because this is where everything stemmed from. The Sack of Lawrence People rushed to occupy Kansas, but the anti-slavery and pro-slavery settlers both set up a government in Kansas. The anti-slavery settlers founded a town named Lawrence. The pro-slavery grand jury saw the people in Lawrence as traitors and wanted to arrest them. These orders were carried out by a pro-slavery army of 800 men who swept through and absolutely destroyed the entire town. Abolitionists called this event the Sack of Lawrence. John Brown and the Patawatomi Massacre the sack of Lawrence reached John Brown, a crazy abolitionist who believed he was called on by God to fight slavery. Brown believed that people were killed in the sack of Lawrence and sought revenge. On May 24th, he set off the Patawatomi Creek and killed five men. The Patawatomi Massacre later triggered more incidents throughout Kansas. The Caning of Sumner Violence spread across the nation and even to the Senate. On May 19th, Senator Charles Sumner made a speech that was called the Crime Against Kansas. Sumner's speech was verbally attacking slavery and Senator Andrew P. Butler for his slavery beliefs and his impaired speech. On May 22nd, Preston S. Brooks went to visit Sumner to say that his speech was unnecessary and that it was a libel on South Carolina. After that, Brooks took out his cane and struck Sumner in the head repeatedly until his cane broke. Sumner had to leave the Senate for over three years. Southerners were glad that Brooks stood up for his state. Slavery is bad. Brooks is a butthead. Who are you calling a butthead?